Get your hazmat suits on, guys, because the world's deadliest virus has been unfrozen. What's up, guys? My name's Dave Wapple, and welcome to I.O. So let me ask you this, guys. When were you the most sick your entire life? For me, I remember one time I had a stomach ache. I couldn't get to sleep. I literally cried all night long. That's right, I'm a crier. <laughs> so this virus was found in Siberia, underneath all that permafrost stuff. Bit of a side note and a global warming tip. Did you guys know that in certain areas of Siberia where the permafrost is, if it unfreezes, it'll unleash gases that will totally destroy our entire environment indefinitely, and there'll be no turning back. That's of course if you believe in the global warming theory. So this virus is approximately 30,000 years old. It's called Plithiovirus Sibericum, which sounds oddly enough like a dirty Siberian porno. So when they discovered it, they found out that this virus is actually one of the world's largest viruses, making it 15 times bigger than the influenza virus. So I get it, you're probably wondering, how does a virus survive for 30,000 years in the ice? The reasons for it surviving so long is because places like deep oceans and permafrost are great places to preserve microbes, which are obviously inside, you know, viruses. But now the whole thing has been released, it's unfrozen, and yeah, it's scaring the living pants off of me. Kind of reminds me of that movie with Dustin Hoffman, Outbreak from the 90s. If you haven't seen it, it's actually really good. Now before all you guys go crazy in your comments, fortunately this virus poses no threat to human beings. Whee! Thank God, load off of my mind. It apparently attacks only things like amoebas. They've already done a study and everything is already good on us. But because of this, it's making scientists warn everyone else saying that be careful, there might be more frozen deadly viruses underneath permafrost in which could pose as a threat to these sexy exteriors. First it was the Cold War, then it was asteroids, then it was global warming, and now it's viruses, man. Everything's just out trying to kill us, man. We're fragile. This is ronka donka dick Either way, guys, let me ask you this. If you could be a scientist, what field would you study? Gynecology, perhaps? Hmm? No, to be perfectly honest, I'd be a paleontologist. Why? Because I love dinosaurs. They're so cool. Either way, guys, I'm Dave Wapple, and as I always say, keep it real, keep it classy, keep it on the flip side. Out there in the living world.